offensive line. But uh, we have like cohesion together. We're playing together well. We're communicating well, and uh, everyone's confident in each other. So it's really um, it's big. What about having that that coaching uh, continu continuity? Has that been helpful to you as yeah. far as being able to approach the playbook, camp, and what they expect of you? Yeah, definitely. I mean. Uh, Coach Revno is consistent. It doesn't mean he was the same way when he first got here and the same way now. Just in the fact that he's going to bring energy and he's uh, coaches aggressively and everything like that. But um, you know, he does a great job. We all, we all respond to him well, I think. Eric, play-wise, um, play I, was, I was asking Jed uh, Fish on Media Day if, if maybe last year was a little more simplified and, and maybe if he'd open it up this year. So kind of applying that to offensive line, was, la was last year with Drevno, do you feel like that was – Maybe easing in, or was that was that the game plan? No, I think yeah, uh, we have a different game plan every week, obviously, and we change up our plays. But um, we opened up a playbook last year a lot, especially as everyone got more comfortable. But now that we're returning, everyone is a little bit, you know, familiar with the plays. So I think they'll have feel a little bit more comfortable even expanding it more. So so not like it like a kind of like a test run, I guess is what. No. Last, last year was last year was the was, oh yeah what, was you, it. what you see in the offense is what you're gonna get. There's no there's not a lot of tricks and stuff like that to it. It's pretty simple. What's the biggest difference that you've noticed right right now about yourself as opposed to this time last year? Um, I, I think I'm playing faster just because. Uh, although we had spring prior to last season, we were still installing a lot of plays and trying to figure it out and a uh, whole new system, all new terminology and everything like that. But now I know it like the back of my hand, so playing faster and uh, more confident and all that. So. Is it is it comforting knowing that, I mean, the offensive line has, it's becoming a, a strength of a team rather than, you know, four or five years ago, it wasn't a strength. Yeah, it feels good. Um, take it for what it is. I mean, I feel like we've had a good group all along. It's just we've had little things here and there to help us back, but it feels good when people are saying good things about us. But I mean, we're not gonna we're not gonna read all that and think that we're the best offensive line ever. We've got to get a lot better. Is there anyone or anything that surprised you so far in the first week of camp? Uh, not anyone in particular. I just think it uh, surprised me how how hungry everyone still is. You know, kind of. Worried a little bit after last season, we had a little bit of success. Maybe that would, you know, some people would take it easy and think that they've made it or whatever. But uh, everyone's kind of been a little bit hungrier. Practice has been faster. Practice has been more intense than I've ever seen, and uh, that's a great thing. It surprised me though because it could it could have gone the other way really fast. But it's not with this group of players. We don't have that at all. What kind of what kind of things do you say to to temper that? Like when you, when you mention, you know, maybe if they thought you you had some success and. How do you let them know, like, look, no, we haven't made it yet? Um, I didn't say anything. I mean, nobody said anything, really. Like, I guess we were all kind of thinking about it. I think in the back of our minds, maybe a lot of us were kind of thinking, hopefully that doesn't happen. But uh, after the first few days, you could definitely tell that wasn't the case at all. Okay. Uh, there's lots of times in practice that coach has to tell us to calm it down and not go so fast or hit so hard because, you, you know, we have to be ready for a first game. But everyone is uh, excited, ready to go. If there is any of that complacency, what will wipe it out? Do you see any uh, of that or anything happening? Well, it starts with the head coach. He won't allow that. It doesn't matter if you're the best player on our team or the worst player on our team. Everyone's expected to do the same thing, and uh, he'll get on you whether you're a star or you're a walk-on or whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah. And so you know, we see him doing that, so everyone kind of follows his lead.